In this video, we're going to tie a weighted beadhead prince nymph. First thing we're going to do is start off with a 3761 TMCO hook and a matching gold bead. And then I'm going to take some 020 or 025 lead wire and just kind of ram it up into the bead. I want it to be about half of the length of the shank of the hook. I'm going to take some Vivas, either 8 aught or 6 aught red thread. I like to use red thread. I think it adds a little bit of kind of attracting qualities to the fly. But you can use black if you prefer to that. And I'm just going to wrap through the lead wire a couple times here to make sure that it's nice and secure. Then I'm going to take my thread all the way back down here <clears throat> to the bend. Now, we're ready to tie in the tail. And for that, I'm going to use a couple of brown goose biots. Now, you can also use turkey. I like to use the goose because they're just a little finer and they have little better tips on them, it seems like. A lot of the turkey that I seem to find around here isn't quite as nice. I'm going to arrange them so that they splay or split kind of away from each other so that the curve goes opposite. Then I'm going to measure them out on the hook shank. I want them to be about half to three quarters the length of the hook. I'm going to pinch them in on either side of my hook and capture them. Oopsie, dropped one of them. Let's try that again. They can be a little slippery to work with. But once you get used to maneuvering them with your fingertips, it gets a little easier. There we are. Basically what you're looking for are split tails, just like that. Then you can trim out the, the butt ends of the biots. And then take your thread forward. Now, the next material that we're going to use is some silver small tinsel. I'm just going to take that and tie it in right along the side of the hook. I'm going to take three strands of peacock hurl. This will be for the body. I'm going to tie those in right along the side of the hook along with that tinsel. Now I want to make sure I have a nice smooth transition here from the rear of the fly to the body. I don't want too many lumps or bumps because that will make it a little tough to wrap that tinsel nice and smooth. And once I have a smooth transition I'm just going to come up here to the eye, or the bead I should say, and then we're ready to wrap that peacock hurl forward. And once I get to the front here, I'm just going to stop and lay down a couple of wraps. Now it's going to be real careful not to wrap too much up here by the bead. So I'm going to do two tight wraps in front one tight wrap behind the peacock curl. Then we could trim out the butt ends. Then I'm going to take this tinsel and I'm actually going to counter wrap it the opposite way that I wrapped the peacock curl. This will help lock the peacock curl in place, but it will also really help that tinsel to stand out on the fly. 
and then just two nice tight wraps behind and one right in front. Really got to be careful not to overdo it with the wraps on this fly. Now we're ready for the collar. For that I'm going to use a brown soft tackle feather. I'm going to strip out all this fluff at the base of the feather. And I'm going to take the feather and just stroke back some of the fibers exposing just the very tip of the feather. I'm going to tie that in right there by that tip. With a couple really nice placed wraps. Carefully trim that out of there. I'm going to take my hackle pliers and just clip into the stem very carefully and then I'm going to pull back these fibers, kind of forcing them back at an angle. Then I'm ready for my first wrap. I'm just going to very carefully take that feather and just kind of work it around the head of the fly. Very carefully. Then I can capture that stem, the wrap, then I'll just lightly kind of scoot all these fibers down from the top down to the sides. This is where our wing is going to go, so I'm just going to make a little bit of an area for our wing to lay down. And I'll kind of help place those fibers just with one more wrap of thread. And you can trim out your stem. If you have a few stray fibers, you can either trim them out of there or you can leave them be, whatever you like. And essentially, we're looking for a formed collar with a little spot on the top, just like that. Now we're ready for the wing. And for that, we're going to use some white goose biots. I'm actually going to tie these in so that they're, they're backwards. I'm going to tie these in so that they face forwards and curve up. And you'll see, I'll tell you why here in a second. Um, if you ever had a problem with the wings falling off your prince nymphs, um, the reason is they probably weren't tied this way. Then we're just going to measure out the wings so that they're just a little bit longer than the body. So what I usually do is I kind of measure right up to the bead all the way back here to the very back of the body. Once I have those measured out, I'm just going to take those and even them up as good as I can get them. I like my the tips of them just to be perfectly even. and I'll kind of make a V with them as well. And just measure them out. I'm going to tie those in right there at the bead. And you can kind of just quickly fold them over to make sure that you got the right length. Yep, I'm pretty pretty close to where I want them. Then I'm going to take two really tight wraps with my thread. And I'm going to trim these but not all the way. You can see I left a little bit of tag or kind of a tag end there. I'm going to pull down nice and tight with my thread, fold those wings back up over the top, and lay down a wrap just in front of them. First I'm just going to kind of split them. There we go. And then I'll really secure them in place. Two tight wraps. And that's my wing. Then to finish the fly, I like to finish with my whip finisher. I'll just do those two wraps to keep them in place, and then I'll lay down a few more wraps with the whip finish to just to kind of clean it all up. The trick is to really conserve wraps on this fly. 
that's all there is to it. That is a finished Prince Nymph. Now you can tie this collar with a few different materials. I tied it with a brown soft tackle, but you can also use partridge as well. That's another one of my favorite materials to use. But either one looks just fine and catches fish. That's all there is to a weighted bead head prince nymph.